of the last couple of days. Today, no exception, and that'll be the case for the evening. Uh, 35 degrees still at 9 o'clock tonight. Still some clouds and still some areas of drizzle, but the temperature still above freezing. That's a good thing for us here through the rest of the evening. Look at the radar picture. Um, any substantial sort of rain showers have pushed to the east into portions of central Iowa, so not looking at any sort of real heavy rain here tonight, but some mist and some drizzle certainly still uh, part of the picture. We look at the radar satellite pictures. Pretty heavy cloud cover still across all of eastern Nebraska, western Iowa. Zoom things out here a little bit. We've got a storm system that's crossing through the northern plains, but there's plenty of clearing back out to the west, central Nebraska, and the Nebraska Panhandle. So eventually, all of this moisture will move eastward, and I do think we'll see some clearing as we get a little bit closer to early tomorrow morning. Uh, that's what we're looking at at our model here too. Through the overnight, this is about 10:30. Maybe we start to see a few breaks a little closer to midnight, and then sky should start to clear out by tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. This is Monday, 7:30 a.m., and then through the day on Monday, just a few clouds maybe through the afternoon, but I think we mainly clear out and we see mostly sunny skies through the majority of the day. Uh, currently at Epley, though, 37 degrees. Those clouds pretty heavy across the area. Winds are out of the south southeast. They've been around 10 miles an hour, maybe gusting to up to about 20. Uh, so not a real comfortable day to be outdoors by any means. And uh, that's kind of what our weather watcher in Arlington, Nebraska, said. Larry Nelson, a dreary day for him. 37, the high temperature there. And here in Omaha, high temperature 37 as well. It's right about average, but uh, certainly kind of a Great day with the clouds and also a trace of precipitation at Epley. Here's your hourly planner through the rest of this evening. Temperatures only drop slowly, a couple of degrees every couple of hours or so, with clouds sticking around pretty heavy across the area, at least through the next couple of hours. But we'll start to see more clearing by the early morning hours of your Monday as temperatures fall to around freezing for the low temperature. Here's that storm predictor. Got frontal boundaries moving through the area by 6 a.m. tomorrow morning as the clouds clear. That's about when a cool front will come through. We'll have a northwest. West wind through the day on Monday. Cooler air doesn't quite move in though for Monday afternoon. It'll be actually a little bit warmer for tomorrow with highs climbing into the lower 40s. Lots of sunshine. Uh, mainly clear conditions Monday night into the early morning hours of your Tuesday. High pressure starts to drop into the northern plains, so we have a bit of an east or a southeast wind by Tuesday afternoon, and so uh, that doesn't lend itself toward a real warm day, so we may be actually a few degrees cooler heading into Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening with highs in the 30s. As far as this evening, though, mostly cloudy sky, 35 degrees. Areas of drizzle still possible, especially through western Iowa. 30 degrees for the low temperature tonight. Clouds start to break, though. We see a little more sunshine to start the day on your Monday. 31 degrees at 8 a.m., climbing into the lower 40s by late tomorrow afternoon. I think we'll see a high temperature right around 44 degrees. So here's your forecast. The next three days, the start of your work week, not looking too bad pretty dry. Temperatures pretty average or just above average. But then we really start to see a jump in temperatures by the end of the week and next weekend. 50s for highs on Friday and Saturday. Storm system arriving by next Sunday, though, could bring us a rain chance. But, you know, we could be talking about freezing.